Hello students. In this video, I'll be demonstrating you the orthogonal diagonalization of a matrix wherein we need to convert the modal matrix to the orthogonal form. We consider the example. Two four two five eight four eight seventeen. Now the characteristic polynomial for this would be minus lambda cube plus twenty four. Lambda squared minus forty five lambda plus twenty two equal to zero. The eigenvalues are one, one, and twenty two. Now lambda equal to twenty two. This implies. Minus seventeen. Sorry, minus twenty to four. A minus twenty to I will be minus twenty to four to minus seventeen. Eight four eight minus five. Now determinant a minus twenty two i equal to zero. This implies a minus twenty two i will be similar to two minus seventeen eight four eight minus five and zero. So the clone form will be a minus twenty two i. This is equal to two minus seventeen eight zero forty two minus twenty one zero zero zero. A minus twenty two i into x equal to zero. This implies two x minus seventeen y plus eight z equal to zero. Forty two y minus twenty one z equal to zero. Now here, if I take z equal to two k, this will result in y equal to k. This implies. 2x minus 17k plus 16k equal to zero. So x equal to 1 by 2k. So we get x equal to k by 2 k 2k. This is K by two into one, two, and four. So we can choose x one equal to one, two, four. Lambda equal to one implies. Now we have a
lambda equal to 1 implies a minus i equal to 1 2 4 2 4 8 4 8 16 we see that second and third row are multiples of the first row therefore the echelon form will be 1 2 4 0 0 0 0 0 0 so a minus i into x equal to 0 implies x plus 2y plus 4z equal to 0 so y equal to k1 z equal to k2 implies x equal to minus 2k1 minus 4k2 so x equal to minus 2k1 minus 4k2 k1 k2 that is k1 times minus 2 1 0 plus k2 times minus 4 0 1 now we find that now we have x1 equal to 1 2 4 x2 equal to 2 1 0 x3 equal to minus 4 0 1 now in inner product of x1 x2 is 0 inner product of x1 x3 is 0 inner product of x2 x3 is 8 which is not 0 so now for orthogonal diagonalization we require the vectors to be orthonormal so that we can construct an orthonormal ma ma orthogonal matrix p so let u1 equal to minus 2 1 0 u2 equal to minus 4 0 1 since these two vectors are not orthogonal we convert them into orthogonal vector using gram schmidt process so v1 equal to u1 now v2 is u2 minus inner product of u2 v1 over inner product of v1 v1 into v1 so this will be minus 4 0 1 minus inner product of u2 with v1 will be 8 inner product of u1 with u1 will be 5 so this will be minus 4 by 5 minus 8 by 5 and 1 so let v1 equal to minus 4 minus 8 5 that is we multiply by the LCM for convenience 
now we can take we need unit vectors now so we normalize the vectors now inner product of x1 with x1 is square root of 1 plus 4 plus 16 that is so this should be the norm so in a product of x1 with x1 would be 1 plus 4 plus 16 that is 21 so norm of x1 will be square root of 21 in a product of v1 with v1 is 4 plus 1 plus 0 that is 5 so norm v1 is root 5 in a product of v2 with v2 will be 16 plus 64 plus 25 which is 105 So norm V2 will be square root of Now V1 is minus 2, 1, 0. V2 is minus 4, minus 8, 5. X1 by norm X1 this is 1 by root 21, 2 by root 21, 4 by root 21. V1 by norm V1 is minus 2 by root 5, 1 by root 5, 0. And v2 by norm v2 will be minus 4 by root 105 minus 8 by root 105 5 by root 105 so we can write p to be One by root twenty one, two by root twenty one, four by root twenty one, minus two by root five, one by root five, zero, minus four by root one zero five, minus eight by root one zero five, five by root one zero five. P inverse will be equal to P transpose. So P inverse AP equal to D implies P transpose AP equal to D, which will be equal to Twenty two, one and one, and the remaining elements are zeros.